Hey, Menachie, what are you doing? Oh, I am looking at a bug. What's this? It's a lens. Lenses can make things look bigger. Huh, how does that work? I'm not sure, but light changes when it goes through materials. Maybe there's an experiment we could do about that. I bet there is. Hello, I'm Minakshi, and I'm a freshman physics major at Purdue. I'm Emily, and I'm a junior at Purdue, also majoring in physics. Minakshi, what did you mean when you said that light changes when it goes through a lens? Well, have you ever been at a swimming pool and seen how funny your friend's legs look when they're underwater? I have. Like this. What do you see when the straw is in the water? Huh, it looks like it's in two different pieces. Well, the straw isn't really in two pieces, of course. But the water in the glass is bending the light rays to give you that illusion. So I hear people talk a lot about light, the visible light spectrum. Can you actually see light? Well, we can't exactly see a ray of light going through space, but we do see light reflecting off of things like this table. In addition to visible light, there are a lot of other types of light too. There's infrared light, ultraviolet light, radio waves, and even microwaves are all types of light. It's just they're different because they have different sized waves. Visible light is the name for the light that humans can see, which is only a small amount of all the light out there. That's so cool. But can we get started on our experiment now? Yeah, let's do it. So all we need for this experiment are a water glass, a glass of water, a ruler, a couple of note cards, and two pens. All right, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is draw two arrows on the note card so that one arrow is in the top third of the glass and the other arrow is on the bottom third. Okay. I am going to make the arrows two different colors so that we can refer to the green arrow and the red arrow in our experiment. See how these arrows are set up so that the bottom arrow is on the bottom third of the glass and the top arrow is on the top third. All right, Emily, I need you to take that box and put the index card against it. Do you see those arrows? I do. What do you think would happen if we put the empty glass in front of the arrows? Um, they could end up looking a little bit bigger. Let's find out. Put the empty glass about 15 centimeters away from the arrows. What do you see? You know, they look exactly the same. Hmm, maybe we need a different material. What do you think would happen if we put water into the glass? Well, maybe this time, because there's water, it would get bigger. Let's find out. Pour water into the glass until it's about halfway between the two arrows. What changed? Well, the top arrow looks the same, but the bottom arrow changed direction. Did anything else happen? Yeah, it does look a little bit bigger, so I was right about that. <laughs> All right, Minakshi, I have a question for you now. What would happen if we pushed the glass further away from the arrows? Well, the top arrow is still above the water, so I bet it wouldn't change, but maybe the bottom arrow would get even bigger. Okay, so what do you think would happen if we pushed it closer? Well, if the bottom arrow gets bigger when it's further away, I bet it would get smaller when it's closer. All right, let's try it out. Hmm. When I move the glass further away, the bottom arrow gets smaller and it gets really fuzzy. But when I push it closer, the bottom arrow switches back to the way that it looks when there's no water and it's bigger. Huh, that's pretty weird. Do you think that we could find the spot where it switches? I bet we can. Let's see. Well, it looks like it switches right here. This glass of water is acting like a lens. This distance from the index card to the center of the glass is called the focal length. And for this lens, it looks like the focal length is about 7.3 centimeters. Then actually, can you explain why that happens? Well, do you ever look in a mirror? All the time. Well, what's happening in a mirror is reflection but light doesn't bounce off of a lens, it goes through a lens. And when light goes to different materials, it goes at different speeds, which causes it to change direction a little bit when it switches materials. And physicists call that refraction. So Manarchi, I don't really understand how a lens could cause an image to be reversed, like the arrow in our experiment. Let me show you using our water glass. So I've got two sources here a red one and a green one, and they're set up so that they are parallel to each other. 
What do you see when you look directly down? Well, the lights go from the air into the water. Exactly. And what happens when they go into the water? Once they enter the water, they bend a little bit towards the middle. Yeah, just like this. They are now pointing towards each other. What happens when the light exits the water? Well, they bend even more once they're out in the air, and then they end up crossing. Yep, that's pretty cool. They cross right here. And see how now the green light is on the opposite side than how it started, just like the red light also switched sides. This reversing is the same thing that happened to the arrow. So where they cross, would that be the focal point? Exactly, you got it. The phenomenon of light gives us the perfect opportunity to begin exploring the curious subjects of physics. Want to learn more? Join us again at Saturday Morning Astrophysics at Purdue.